Hey friends, in the last video, we talked about what is plantar fasciitis. In this video, we will talk about its treatment. Plantar fasciitis is usually a self-limiting condition. 90% of cases get better with traditional non-surgical treatments. Most important thing you can do to help your plantar fasciitis is limit your high impact activities like jumping, running, jogging, all those kind of things and buy orthotic insoles for your shoes. Buy good quality insoles, but do not buy very expensive ones because at the moment, there is no evidence that very expensive insoles are better than the normal ones. To ease up your heel pain, you can try icing your heel. Best way to do it would be using ice cold plastic bottle as shown in the video. You can also try using NSAIDs NSAIDs stand for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medicines like ibuprofen, naproxen, diclofenac, indomethacin. All this medicine can help to ease up your pain to some extent. In addition, you can use these exercises recommended by Arthritis Research UK. I have put the link in the description box. If you click on the link, it will open up a sheet where it shows you all the exercises. Just by doing these things, you can get significant relief from plantar fasciitis and you will be able to recover fully. One more very important thing I just remembered is some people, they have a very high pain tolerance. They ignore the pain of plantar fasciitis and they carry on with their routine. They don't do anything to help their plantar fasciitis. They hope that it's going to get better automatically itself. But, but, but never ignore plantar fasciitis because if you do, you can develop heel spurs, plantar rupture and plantar fibromatosis and in some cases even permanent nerve damage. After six to eight weeks, if your symptoms are not better fully, you can get a steroid injection from your doctor. Now, steroid injection, they work brilliantly. They have a success rate of 70% or better, but the benefits are short-lived and maximum number of steroid injections you can have in one year is three. And at the same time, steroid injections, they do have some side effects. For example, they can cause fat pad atrophy, which means thinning or decreased size of the fat pad that serves as a natural cushion for your foot. And very occasionally, they may cause rupture of the plantar fascia as well. And lastly, there is this new technique that is proving to be very effective in treating plantar fasciitis. It's called extracorporeal shockwave therapy ESWT for short. What happens is tissue is subjected to loads of high pressure sound waves. This leads to increased blood circulation and activity in the cells in the treatment area, which in turn speeds up the body's own healing process. Some scientists believe your body's own production of nitric oxide may be the reason behind effectiveness of ESWT. If you really want to spend money on the treatment of plantar fasciitis, I would advise go and get treated by ESWT because number one is non-invasive, number two side effects are very little and number three it actually proven to be effective. According to this meta-analysis, 13 trials which included 1185 patients out of which 637 patients were treated with ESWT, 548 patients with OT means other therapies and they concluded that patients treated with ESWT showed better improvement rates, the pain was reduced and they were able to get to their jobs quicker. They also had less complications than patients treated with other therapies. Unfortunately, about 10% of people who get plantar fasciitis very, very bad, they will have to go under the knife. They will have to have surgical treatment for plantar fasciitis. And with every surgery, with every operation, risk of side effects go higher. If you guys think you have the symptoms of plantar fasciitis, then follow the information and advice given in this video to help your plantar fasciitis. And if you have any questions, leave the comment. I will try my best to answer it. And of course, like the video, subscribe to the channel and share the video. That's all for today. Thank you.